course, so many of you welcomed Eric into your living rooms, me included, uh, morning after morning for decades. And we know you're just hurting just as much as we are. So Rachel Hanley spoke with people all across the area today. They shared what they'll miss most about our beloved Eric. Oh, I watched him every morning, every morning. And in the four decades that Eric Paulson spent on people's TV screens, they got to know him and came to love him. For some, it was his relationships with his co-anchors. Miss him with Sally Ann Roberts and all, all the good old days, you know. I remember when Sheba, when he went with her. Now, I used to watch it with the two of them. They were a hoot. Others remembered the stories Eric told and the people he sat down with as far back as his interview with Tennessee Williams in 1981. But he did it in such a way that he gave uh, a certain touch to this that made it really work. And he didn't censor Tennessee Williams, but he did it just the right way. But more than anything, it was his personality and sense of humor that kept them coming back to Channel 4 every day. His wit, he was very, you know, um, very outgoing, uh, the jokes that he would come out with. His charisma, his, his, his charisma, he was like he always smiled and he was like he was always, this is the, the, the most important thing for me is for you to get you out of what you do. And I believe he was like a real person, like genuine. So when Southeast Louisiana heard the news of Eric's passing Saturday morning, it cut deep for so many people. I, I mean, I've been hoping he was gonna come back on. You know, I'm sure we're all been wishing he'd come back on. It's a, it's a total shock. I didn't know he had cancer. If I'd have known, I would have been praying for him, but I will pray for him now. I'll pray for him now. And those prayers are not just for Eric, but for his wife and three kids, including his young son. My heart goes out to his family. It's just a terrible time, but I hope people rally around the family and give them support because that's, this is just, that's a sad occasion right now. A sad occasion, not just for those who knew Eric, but everyone he reached in his 40 years in their homes.